going to leave it there. Let's now bring in Yoram Schweitzer, who is a senior research fellow joining us from Tel Aviv. Uh, good morning. Thank you so very much for coming on, Yoram. Uh, do we know any more about who exactly the U.S. says it's taken out? It seems from the briefing of the Pentagon that they managed to kill the planner and the facilitator of the operation. That's what they are claiming. Mm. Okay, and uh, tell me, Yaram, before this terror attack, uh, it was the Taliban that was really seen globally as the biggest threat to that country and its people. Uh, is that still the case, in your opinion? You're talking about the United States? What was that, sorry? Are I'm talking, talking about talking Afghanistan, to... Afgan in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Look, uh, in Afghanistan, the dominant force is the Taliban. The Taliban is not organized properly, and I'm not sure that it's totally willing and committed to prevent any terror attacks. IS, IS uh, Khorasan is one of the most uh, prominent groups in, uh, in Afghanistan, and definitely it's a, a bitter adversary to the Taliban. And it wanted to embarrass the Taliban vis-a-vis -vis the United States to cause friction between the two bodies and to take advantage of the opportunity the rare opportunity that they have all their enemies together, adversaries, in an unsecured area out of the terminal, and they took advantage of it and carry out this atrocity. All right. So in 2018, Trump came out to declare that ISIS was defeated. Uh, we're really seeing a significant resurgence here, are we not? I think that uh, it was obvious to anyone who watches um, these uh, Salafi jihadi organization that there isn't any possibility for total defeat. And we have seen IS, ISIS, ISIS in Syria and Iraq, and its uh, partners all over the world operating since March 2019, when the Islamic State rule in Syria and Iraq ended operating all over the world. Every month they are carrying out dozens of attacks. So everyone know that there isn't a total defeat of ISIS and its branches. And now we have witnessed the last attack in Afghanistan, which proved it another time in a very, very uh, lethal way. So Yoram, tell me, uh, is the Taliban capable of controlling this situation? I'm sure that the Taliban uh, will take, it will take time for the Taliban to take control over the whole country. And even then, if it succeeded, there are quite many opposition groups, including and maybe prominently led by uh, IS Khorasan, that wants to uh, fight the Taliban hegemony because IS is looking at the Taliban not only as a rivalry, but also as a uh, apostate organization. So I think that we are going to see more and more operations vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the Taliban, vis-a-vis -vis any targets that the, uh, the IS wishes to harm. This is not the end of the game, it's just the beginning. So tell me, how much of these can we really expect to spill over and uh, have an effect on the wider region? I'm sure it will have effect on the, over the region. I think even the Taliban themselves uh, and their rule in Afghanistan will challenge the region. The big question, or one of the big questions that we can't answer uh, honestly now, nowadays, is whether Afghanistan will serve as a jumping board for carrying out international operations, terror operations in the West. This is one of the questions. All right. Yoram Schweitzer, thank you so very much uh, for coming on to chat.